Hair for Hope, make a bold statement. My name is Chris Lepard, I'm a teacher, and cancer has affected my life more than most. I'm doing this because every member of my immediate family has suffered with cancer. My mum had skin cancer, my dad had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and my brother survived leukaemia as a young child. And I saw with my father and my brother, both of them losing their hair. And that's the serious purpose behind Hair for Hope, helping to reduce the social stigma of going bald, especially for those people who might be who, for whom it might be more socially awkward for them to lose their hair, especially girls where having long hair can be part of their identity. And if I can do anything with this, it would be to, to let those people know that they aren't alone. And that's what we do as teachers, to, to lead by example and to model what we do um, to our students. I'm making a bold statement, and so should you. I love my brother, which sounds corny. I mean, what small children, what small boys love their elder brother? The difference is that my brother had leukaemia, and as a four-year-old child, I knew that he might die. And I knew that when I went to see him in hospital, if he wasn't allowed to see me, that meant that his immune system was so wrecked by the disease which was ravaging his body that the small cold that I had could kill him. And for a precocious four-year-old, the reality of death in your everyday life is something which affects you. And it affected me. And it affected my brother and my whole family. And it's difficult to comprehend the, the effect that cancer has on the lives of hundreds of thousands of children around the world every day and not only the children who have the disease but their families who have to deal with it and who sometimes have to deal with losing those children. My brother when he was in hospital was in a room next to a girl who he knew and he survived, he beat cancer and she didn't. And that was the reality of my life until I was 16 years old. My brother could have relapsed. He did once. And he could have died. I'm very lucky. My brother didn't die. My brother's still alive. But I remember every day that there are families out there. There are children just like me who have brothers and sisters who will lose their hair because of cancer. And it may seem like it's something small and insignificant, but shaving your head, showing solidarity with those children does mean something. It means that they aren't alone. And it means that they actually have hope and hope that something might get better, that the future might be better, and that one day, having lost their hair because of chemotherapy, they might be able to participate in Hair for Hope themselves and give hope to other children who are still suffering with cancer. Cut through despair, Hair for Hope.